This is an atom disk drive, the mechanism for one. And I got asked a question as to how you go about oiling the spindle. This part right here. So I was going to type it up, and I figured, you know, that's a lot quicker just to show. So, obviously, first off, you have to take it out. This one, the reason why this is out and loose right now is the stepper motor right here, for reasons I'm not able to figure out yet, is not moving anything. So I got to figure that one out. But, to do this, the first thing you do, once you take it out, close the door. You need to have the door closed so that it holds the drive spindle in place. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take, take your belt, lift it up just a little bit and turn it until it comes off. Don't yank it. You don't want to rip it off of there. Now the next thing you're going to do is hold this in place. Take your screwdriver, loosen your screwdriver up. Take out the screw. I'm blocking it, just the one screw. Now there are a number of washers in here, so just watch as you're pulling it up. Don't, don't yank them up. Don't do them sideways. Go slow. See a couple of the, one of the washers, two of the washers stayed there. The little spring washers, we just want to put them back on there. Now the reason why you close that door before doing this here is if you don't, this little bearing or this little axle here will slide down in and you can't get the screw to go back in. So I've got it opened up there now. Now what I've got here is sewing machine oil. That's all I'm going to use. Nothing special, just sewing machine oil. Now I'm going to put a couple drops right here into the bearing area. Just like that, not a lot, just a little bit. Just a little few drops in there. Watch your little washes, make sure you don't lose them. Take this, set that back on there. Like so. Take my screw, put it back in there. Now, when I'm tightening it, it's, you got to hold this so that it doesn't move. Otherwise, it's going to not tighten up all the way. Now, I'm just going to massage that oil into place. Don't put a lot of oil on there because if you do, it will leak out everywhere. Once I've massaged all the oil into place, just like that, I'm going to hold this and, again, unscrew it. Lift this off and go slow so you don't take any of them off. And I'm going to take a Q-tip and come back in with a Q-tip and just sop up any excess oil here. Just so it doesn't drip around inside. I don't want it to be messy. But I wanted to have extra oil in here to go into the bearing itself. Put this back on again. Watch your washers. Make sure your washers don't come loose or come off. Just make sure they're there. Put that back on again, push it down. One last time with the screw back in here. Hold this. You ain't gotta torque it down, just tighten it up. Now to put this on, to put your belt back on, slide it on here. Start it on one side over here. This side's the easiest. It's easy if you start on that side because these get in your way, all the parts get in your way. And just hold it and slowly turn it until it's on. Then just move it some back and forth just to make sure that it seats in nicely. And that's it. Drive has now been lubricated. Now you could lubricate this top one too if you want. But this top one really doesn't have any bear the one that holds the little thing here. That that bearing is it's not really a bearing, it's just a nylon. So unless it's, it's stuck, you don't need to worry about lubricating that. It's the bottom that you have to lubricate. Because it will stick in there because it's a metal bearing and it gets sticky. So there you go. Real simple way of just using sewing machine oil. Lubricate it. And you can use sewing machine oil for other things too on here. Just so, because there's other things that you have to lubricate on here. Let's just, I just closed the door here. I'm going to pull the drive head forward. If you look down in here on the drive head, you have these little metal shafts. That's what the drive head, drive runs on. If you take your sewing machine oil, let's make. I'm going to just make a nice little pile of it. Right here. Get down in there, nice little pile. Just like that. I'm going to take some, put on the Q-tip, 
going to come in here and I'm just going to put it on the inside of that rail and on the inside of this rail. Move this down this way and I'm going to do the same up here. I'm doing my best to stay away from the drive head. I'm just put it on the rail. Move it back and forth. Let's see if I can get a little bit more over here. Again, keep this keep this closed. Don't leave it open. That way you're not because if you have it open like this, then your drive head is ex possibly get exposed. If you keep it closed like that, even though you can lift it up, it's harder to get it any oil in it. But there we go. Now we got that nice and nice and lubricated. Then if you wanted to clean the drive head while you're here, you can do this too. One last thing. I'm going to take another Q-tip. That's such another Q-tip. Rubbing alcohol, 91% isopropyl alcohol. I'm just going to spray it on the Q-tip, get it nice and wet. Lift up this right here. I'm lift this up here. And you can see, hopefully, if not, I'm lift up right there. Down inside it's hard to see, but there is the drive head is on the bottom, not the top. The top is a felt pad. Leave that alone. The bottom is your drive head. Just take your isopropyl alcohol and just wipe that down a little bit. Don't scrub it. Don't force it. Don't do anything, but just wipe it down. It's like so. That's it. That's the only maintenance you really have to do on a disk drive. Just keep it going. You could blow the air out and stuff like that. If you're going to do that, do that before you oil it. And there you go. Now I got a little mess to clean up there, but this is nice and running nice and smooth. And again, like I said, I got to figure out why the stepper motor is not running. But that's for another day. Have a good day.